Illustrator comes with lots and lots of tools. Some probably use every day. Some tools, well, such as the reshape tool, probably doesn't get that much use, mainly because it's tucked away. And I'm just going to quickly go over to the tool now. And now, because of course I can't find it myself. So I'm just going to quickly look for it. It's actually tucked away under the reshape tool. It's under the scale, scale tool. So just select that. And well, basically most time when you use it, you might be using it with say, a closed path and you think well it doesn't do anything but it actually does a lot and it really works with open paths that's the best way of using it and i'm just going to quickly create a, a line very basic line and i'm just going to keep it like that for now i'm actually going to apply some uh, uh widths uh width profiles to it in a few minutes once i've just done the initial creation of the thing i'm just going to go back now to the reshape tool and the one good thing about this is that you can now just drag the path back. Forward. You don't have to reshape. I mean, this actually, of course you could do reshape, but uh, you can actually just use it as for radial designs. Very quick and easy. Now, I'm just going to hold down the Alt key. And as you drag the Alt key, you now release the mouse and it actually generates a new path. And it's centered around this initial point. Just create it there. Very simple. Now, of course, I could create them all equal size, but I'm just going to have a bit of variety. And of course, I could add a point there and actually curve the uh, line, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to just move that around quick, very easy. Just quick burst of designs lines. Right. So, and I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do that reshape. That's sometimes the trouble. You actually add additional bits there, but uh, so you have to actually select that bottom bit. Right, and right, done that. Now, once you've done that, just select them. They're normal paths, nothing um, amazing there. They're just now just increase the size, say to 12 point, and then go to the variable width profile. And just by changing that, you can actually uh, create a, let's say, star designs very quick and easy, or abstract designs, abstract sort of star design or flower design, starburst or zoom design, whole ra range of different designs, as well as obviously you can increase the size at that point as well. Don't have to st stay with that. Now, once you've done that, of course you've got that, you can just expand that if you wish. Just and then, of course, you can even go to the Pathfinder. Just bring that up. And you've got a basic, straight, quick and easy thing. Quite a few points, I have to say. But uh, anyway, you can also, and I'm just going to go now back, undo add, because I don't want to do that. I just want to go back and show you. You can also apply brushes. I'll just increase the size again of that. Bit too big but uh, right as well as apply other designs there so right quick and easy tool using the reshape tool very very useful tool and it doesn't just sort of seem to do not much it actually can be used for lots of different things and you can go from here to let's say distort the design and much more